Hey everyone, it's Mari. I'm back again today with another 12 by 12 scrapbooking process. And I'm going to be working with some of the Jen Hadfield DIY Simple Life collection. And this is a pretty recent collection that I absolutely love. And there, I actually decided to work in some of my stash papers as well. And so this plaid paper is just gorgeous. It's called Perfect Plaid, and it's from that Jen Hadfield collection, as is this. And this piece is called Music. And so these two pieces were my inspiration for my color scheme for the rest of the layout, as was this little set of puffy stickers that goes with that Jen Hadfield collection as well. So I didn't have very much of this Simple Life collection, but I really, really loved it because I love the combination of that really pale yellow with the uh, craft tones and the browns and so on. And I just love that yellow and blue together. It's just such a great combination. Now I'm just showing you some of the other papers from my stash that I pulled that I thought that I might use on this layout. So this, this piece here is from Crate Paper and this is Simple Stories, this yellow piece here and so on. Um, I just kind of went through them and pulled a bunch of pieces that I thought I could use from my stash. And these are all just some embellishments that I pulled as well from various different collections. Um, some from crepe paper, some from pebbles, uh, just things that I have in my stash. And I, I knew that I wanted to add um, a little bit of gold to the layout as well. And so this yellow grid paper from Simple Stories is really gorgeous. And since I really did want to use that blue and yellow theme with the craft, um, and then the, of course the theme of the photograph is uh, Jordan and his music and and just the you know the um, just the idea of how special that is about him. And so um, that's, that's kind of what my inspiration was for this layout today. So I'm just going to start to trim up some of my papers. And I've decided that I wanted to use this basil craft paper as the base for the layout. But you're going to see that that's going to change as the layout progresses here. So I'm just trimming things up and trying to make sure that all my paper trims are straight, which can sometimes be a struggle for me. <laughs> and. I just really like the looks of that um, yellow on that craft. So I've decided that I'm going to use this yellow paper as the base on top of the craft and then work from there. Now the photograph that I'm going to be using today, I actually printed on glossy paper and I printed it, I believe the dimensions are five by seven and I printed that using my Canon large format printer. And I really, really love this printer. It is, it has just been a really great addition to, well, my office, but definitely to my, my scrapbooking process. And I just love the um, flexibility of being able to print larger photos when I want to. And I don't do it very often, but just that sometimes I really do want a larger photo on my layout. And I did a layout not too long ago of a grad picture of Bailey's as well from her high school grad, and it was a large format photo as well. And so this is very similar to um, the design that I used there in the sense that I don't actually do a ton of embellishing. The focus is that large photo and the photo really speaks for itself. And I do a little bit of journaling on here and I really, really like how it turns out. So I wanted to use this music paper on here because uh, music is a huge part of Jordan's life and uh, obviously he's playing his violin in this photograph, but um, he uh, plays his violin in an orchestra in the city that he lives in. Um, he played violin from the time that he was just very little boy all the way through high school. He taught, had some little violin students that he taught as well when he was in high school just to make a little bit of spending money. And um, it's just a passion for him that he's um, continued. And it's kind of neat because it really sort of speaks to um, the... Um, I don't know, I guess I would say well-roundedness of his personality because he's, uh, you know, he was always really into sports and a good student and, and, but always, and had this musical side to him, this uh, artistic side as well. So it's kind of cool. And so I'm just documenting some of those things in this layout today. And uh, I was really excited when we found out that 
um, because he's going to be moving a couple provinces over here at the end of June. And so um, his he and his girlfriend are going to be moving there. She's going to be doing her medical residency there for a couple of years in Kingston. And he is going to be going as well. And... I am so excited that there is a community orchestra in Kingston for him so he can check that out and see if that's something that he'll do there. Now you can see that I have mounted this photograph on some navy cardstock as well and I just really like how that provides a pop for the photo and I'm just going to mount that onto a neutral paper and then that'll be the, the mats for the photograph there behind um, behind the photo just the thin layers and then that plaid photo or that plaid paper printed paper pattern paper sorry is going to go uh, as the final map there so I really love how that looks now I'm just taking a look at that musical note paper and I'm just trying to decide if I want that um, note paper to go um, in front of the plaid paper or behind it so I decide that I want it in front of the plaid paper um, just because I like how it looks when I'm going to be um, adding the journaling over to that right side. So I just wanted that paper to be a little bit more dominant over top of the plaid. So you'll see how that goes here in a bit. Now I've just been having a little bit of trouble with my ATG wanting to wind a little bit incorrectly. So I just open that up and make sure that it doesn't start going all wonky on me. I find that it works better if I go slowly with that ATG gun. Sometimes if I go too fast, it wants to wind incorrectly around the um, other side of it. So I'm just gonna start to get a visual of where I want the embellishments for the layout. This journaling card that I'm using here is um, something that I bought at Michael's with my We Are Memory Keepers um, typewriter. And some of you might have those too. I really like them, they're pretty neutral. And you could fit a lot of journaling on there, so I like that and I'm uh, going to use that for my journaling. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of a cluster down there to the bottom of the photograph to the left. And then I thought, you know, maybe I'll add a little bit of a stamped border on this. And so I took my, um, it's a brown um, ink, hmm, I'm trying to remember. Than the kind of ink I used here but anyways I think you can probably see it on the camera but it's a brown ink and I just thought oh I'm gonna take this Felicity Jane stamp set because some of the sentiments in here are just perfect and the stamp says just be you and then there's little circles that say smile and laugh and so on and so forth and I thought that would be really cool as a border um, but as I was putting it on there, I thought, ooh, I don't, I, I don't mind how it looks, but I think it takes away from the rest of the layout and I didn't want that. So, um, I end up actually changing that up. So, um, how do you change that, right? <laughs> because it's stamped on there. So what I decided to do was, uh, I cut that off. I cut the, the craft off and then I remount the yellow, um, paper onto another piece of craft paper so there you can see now I've done that I actually really like this almost better because this cardstock that I've put it onto is lighter and it is textured cardstock and it's almost kind of more of a gray than it is that craft and I just like how it looks so that was a win-win so anyways now I'm just going to start to stick down that little embellishment cluster there and I just I wanted something that was kind of more of a circular embellishment there and then that rectangle um, just adds a little bit of um, you know it's a bit of a contrast to the circular elements that I'm putting on there which include that wooden button and this little ampersand on this circle as well so just to create a little bit of a contrast and that is a that little wooden buttons from one of the Chamel collections I think Starshine maybe I love those wooden buttons they are so um, useful right because they're really neutral and so I'm going to stick that on here I think this one is yellow I believe it's got some yellow elements to it now I've done my journaling on that card and I actually just stamped a date on the card as well so I at least I stamped the month June and then I just wrote the um, year on there and now I'm just realizing that I haven't stuck anything down 
for the <laughs> large mats. So I'm gonna start to do that. So I just decided actually to put this piece of blue paper behind the yellow. And I just really like how that looks. And I could have gutted that actually and saved some of that blue paper, but I have another sheet of it and I just, you know, I'm okay with using it up. So I'm going to just use the word smile here just because that's kind of the sentiment that I was feeling when I, when I, when I look at this photo of him, it just makes me smile for sure. So I am going to just do a little bit of embellishing up to the top right there in that corner just with a uh, couple of little die cuts and some staples and then I'm going to do some splattering and this layout is really going to be done. I think I actually end up putting on a couple of um, chipboard stars from the Starshine collection as well in yellow and that's going to be about it guys. So this is a, just a really basic um, layout here just a really traditional style and I really love how it turned out and I love using a large photograph on my layout sometimes it's just um, really adds a nice focal point when you have a really nice photograph and this was a professional photo so I liked it so there's my splatters hey thanks so much for stopping by guys I appreciate it and I'll see you another time bye bye